This is New Amsterdam Vape, and in this video, I'll review the Arctic Dolphin Arthur. The most prominent feature of the Arthur is the stabilized wood that wraps around the device. Like the Adonis by Arctic Dolphin, the Arthur provides both wattage and temperature control modes, but with a few new updates that make this a better overall device than the Adonis. I typically don't mind the style or color of my vaping devices, but I've grown attached to this stabilized wood that gives the device a unique look and feel. The Arthur is 28 millimeters in width and 45 millimeters in length, with a height of 89 millimeters. The wattage output on the Arthur ranges from 5 to 80 watts on a single battery, with a resistance range of 0.1 ohms to 2.5 ohms. The temperature control ranges from 95 degrees Celsius to 345 degrees Celsius, or 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 650 degrees Fahrenheit with a resistance range of 0.06 ohms to 1 ohm. The Arthur supports a variety of wire types like titanium, nickel, and stainless steel, as well as CUV coilless atomizers. Looking at the Arthur up close, the most prominent feature is the stabilized wood. The stabilized wood wraps around the entirety of the device instead of just a section of it. The bottom of the Arthur has a series of vent holes located below the chip as well as two vent holes on the battery cover, something that was missing from the Adonis mod. One thing I really did not like about the battery slot and the cover is the lack of labeling for which direction the battery should be oriented. There's nothing on the inside or on the cover that gives a clue to how the battery should go in, so I took a chance and put it in positive side first, which seems to be the correct way for the battery to be placed in. Labeling the battery orientation is very important, and that was missing from the instruction manual as well. The 510 connection is spring-loaded and adjustable, so the Arthur will work with most any tank or dripper. The 510 connection has a large 25mm cover that wraps around it and will sit flush with any sized atomizer, whether it's 22 or 25mm. To turn on the Arthur, just press the power button 5 times. The button layout is simple and is the same as most any device. Using the plus and minus buttons, you can increase and decrease the wattage. The wattage scrolls up very, very quickly. Actually, too quickly for my liking. You can go from 5 to 80 watts in just a second, which is fine if you want to crank to a high wattage, but not so great if you want to fine tune your wattage like I do. I find I have to keep clicking the plus and minus buttons to get my desired wattage. Holding the button down will have the wattage shoot well past where I want it to go. Press the fire button three times quickly to change to temperature control mode. You can scroll through each type of wire by pressing the fire button three times until you get back to wattage mode. Holding the fire and plus button will lock the device, which will not allow it to fire or change settings. Just hold the fire and plus button again to turn off the lock. Hold the fire and minus button to lock the atomizer settings if you have a temperature control atomizer connected. Holding down the plus and minus buttons together takes you to the menu, which is filled with several symbols. The first symbol is a sun, which will allow you to change the brightness of the screen, though I prefer to keep it at 100%. The lock symbol is just another lock for the device, which is the same as the plus button and fire button together. The circle arrow symbol allows you to change the orientation of the screen. The next symbol will display the serial number of the device, though my device seems to not have a number, just a series of Fs. The end symbol will display a puff counter and allows you to set a puff cutoff if you don't want to go over a certain amount. The T symbol will allow you to change the duration of the puff, ranging from 3 to 20 seconds, though I like to keep mine at about 10 seconds. The F and C symbol allows you to choose between Fahrenheit and Celsius modes for temperature control. The coil looking symbol will allow you to select a default wire type for temperature control. The first folder symbol allows you to save any atomizer and wattage combination that you have. If you change atomizers a lot and want to save a setting, this will allow you to save up to five different states. The next folder symbol simply allows you to load any of the preset settings you saved. The M symbol allows you to change the ramp up time for the coil to heat up, so I keep it at the default setting. The last symbol turns off the device. 
I tested the Arctic Dolphin Arthur with the Geek Vape Illusion Tank using a 0.15 ohm coil between 35 to 50 watts. The Arthur performs well enough for a single battery device. I used it for a few days, taking it with me as I went out, and it's definitely grown on me. In terms of performance, it works just like any other single battery device. But the feel and look of the stabilized wood is what really makes this mod stand out. One thing that was very noticeable was that the stainless steel around the tank would get very hot when the tank got hot, but the stabilized wood would not get hot at all. The heat would concentrate just on that top metal piece, but the wood would still be cool to the touch. Moving on to the pros and cons. As a pro, the Arctic Dolphin Arthur is a great working device that's an improvement from the Adonis. My biggest complaint with the Adonis was the lack of any vent holes on the battery cover or on the device, and they made sure to include vent holes on both with the Arthur. I would consider the stabilized wood to be a big pro of this device. I'm typically not attracted to vanity devices, but this has a great look that wraps around the entirety of the Arthur. It makes the mod stand out more, instead of the typical black and stainless steel colors that most devices have. Though this is a vanity pro, I know a lot of people would love to have a stabilized wood device in their collection. The price is another pro. The Adonis was a very expensive stabilized wood device that prices over $300, but the Arthur is available for $150, which is a good price for a stabilized wood mod. Remember, you can get 15% off at HeavenGifts.com when you use the coupon code ANEWAMSTERDAM. Heaven Gifts is also doing a special deal on the Arthur this month only. So you can get the Arctic Dolphin for $79 with the coupon code NAV79, all lowercase. You can also get the Arthur bundled with the Geek Vape Illusion Tank for $96 using the same coupon code NAV79. Remember, this deal is valid for this month only. Moving on to the cons. My biggest con is the scrolling on the temperature and wattage settings. It scrolls way too fast, and it makes it very annoying to get the proper setting. I really like dialing in to find the right setting on different tanks, and I have to press the plus and minus buttons a few dozen times to get it to the right spot, without jumping too far over. My second biggest con is the lack of labeling for the battery position. This is a big deal for anyone who doesn't know which way the battery should be oriented in the device. There was no information in the manual stating which way to put it, so I just took my best guess and put the battery in positive side first. Overall, I do really like the Arctic Dolphin Arthur. It definitely stands out as the best looking of all the devices I own. Though the stabilized wood is randomized when you get the Arthur, the blend of colors and the added texture make for one very cool device. This is New Amsterdam Vape, and if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.